And here's our next example of how to dry, draw a Lewis structure, and it's going to be nitrogen trichloride. And so by its name, trichloride means there's three chlorine atoms and one nitrogen atom. So how do we start? Well, first of all, we realize that nitrogen has five valence electrons and chlorine has seven valence electrons. So you expect the chlorine to want one single bond. Nitrogen may need to make three bonds to come up with eight valence electrons. And that comes in pretty handy because there's three chlorines. The three chlorines probably will make a single bond with nitrogen. So everybody then would be satisfied. Let's see if that works out. Also, we realize that nitrogen has the lowest electronegativity, which tends to make that the central atom, and chlorine therefore needs to cluster around the nitrogen. All right, uh, so nitrogen in the middle, and then we have one chlorine there, one chlorine here, one chlorine there. Okay, if we make a single bond, that means that each chlorine atom would then have six remaining electrons. So we put one set here, Around this chlorine, we have another set of six over here, like so, and another set of six over here. So the chlorine atoms look like they're satisfied. Two to share, and six additional ones gives them part of time eight electrons each, so they look like they're in pretty good shape. What about nitrogen? Well, it had five to begin with. Three of the five are locked in the bonding with the chlorines. That means it has two additional electrons, so let's give it the two additional electrons like that. So that should be okay. That should be the Lewis structure. Let's quickly check the octet rule. So notice for chlorine, every chlorine already has eight electrons part of the time, so that's good. For nitrogen, two, four, six electrons total being shared with chlorine plus the two additional ones. So part of the time, nitrogen will indeed have eight electrons. So the octet rule is satisfied. Now we also want to make sure that we have the correct number of valence electrons in use. Notice for each of the, of the chlorine atoms, there are six electrons, six plus six plus six, and two free electrons for nitrogen right there, plus two for six electrons uh, held up in bonds. So that's six plus six plus six plus six, that's 24 plus two is 26. And sure enough, 26 matches the 26 available electrons, so therefore that rule is followed as well. So it looks like we have our Lewis structure for nitrogen trichloride. One more thing. Just thought about that. So what does it actually look like in real life? Well, it turns out, notice that these two free electrons will repel the electron clouds of the three chlorine appendages to this molecule, which would probably cause those uh, chlorines to be pushed down away from the two free electrons on nitrogen, and you probably expect the actual molecule to look more like this. So notice that there'll be chlorine on this side, chlorine in the front, and then chlorine, maybe I should draw it like this, in the back like that, with the nitrogen and the two electrons, right, they're pushing the chlorines down, so we probably have a molecule that looks more like that, but that's not important right now as far as the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure, we just want to know what it looks like from a bonding perspective. It doesn't necessarily tell you what it looks like from a real life perspective of how that molecule looks like in real life. I just thought I'd throw that in there for perspective, so we'll address what molecules look like at a later session. Right now we're just concentrating on what the bonds look like, irregardless of what the actual structure of the molecule looks like in real life.